So in this video, now we'll try to learn what is a schema and what their need. And in more details, we'll try to understand all those things. So right now, till now you understand that DB we created, so SQL tutorial I created. And last time when I created this one, by default, it's went to DBO. So if you can go and see, there are many different type of uh, schema is by default that we have sys dot uh, sys dot admin we can use information a schema is there so if you put anywhere just like this so let the start from sys dot so those are belongs to all system tables so those things are different so in that similar way we can now create try to create that new schema and if you not provide it by default, go to DBO. So now I will first try to write that how to create a schema. Create a schema and a schema name. So suppose I will go and create that schema as a char. And also I will explain you what are those needed. So now it's command completed successfully. In the same way, if I can go ahead and try to create one more. A schema with the name of it okay so you can see both a schema created so now i will go ahead and comment it out so if we try to look now after this if i try to create new table if i do that create table so a schema dot table name okay so if i pass that a schema is a chart dot EMP I pass that name as that table name and inside that if I wanted to create that ID as int and then suppose name where care of 50 okay and if I go ahead and execute this one so it's command completed successfully if I go and try to refresh this so we can see now since we created new schema, so it's not went by default in DBO. Now it's come to HR dot employee. Okay. So now if again, I will go ahead and try to create that one more table. And this time in place of HR, I will put that ID. Okay. And table name is same. If I try to execute, see this also got executed successfully. So if I go and try to refresh it. So you can see it here that it dot emp is created. Okay. So in this way we can create that same table name in different schema and then we can use that. Okay. So this one we can use that when we using source and destination tables. That time it's important that we need to create that schema so that name will be same and we can at least we can find it out okay which one is that staging table where is that destination table or final table so in that case we try to use that a schema name dot table name. and we can use same name both the places and we can easily find it out so in for those purpose we use that in real time we try to use that schema name then table name and use it okay so i hope you understood uh, what is that need of a schema? Yeah. Thank you.